Ever wondered what happens when galaxies, those enormous celestial bodies, collide? It's a question that might sound straight out of a science fiction novel, but in reality, it's a subject of intense study for astronomers and astrophysicists across the world. Imagine, if you will, two colossal swirling masses of stars, dust, and dark matter, each hundreds of thousands of light years across, hurtling towards each other through the vastness of space. That's what we're talking about when we discuss cosmic collisions. These aren't just any ordinary crashes. These are events of an almost unimaginable scale where entire galaxies, each home to billions upon billions of stars, come together in a dance that lasts millions of years. Now, galaxies aren't solid objects. They're composed of vast distances of empty space punctuated by stars and other celestial bodies. So when galaxies collide, it's not like a car crash with screeching tires and shattered glass. Instead, it's a slow, graceful merger, a ballet of cosmic proportions. Stars shift their orbits, gas clouds coalesce to form new stars, and over time, the two galaxies become one. But while these collisions might seem calm and serene from a distance, they're anything but. These are some of the most energetic events in the universe with the potential to trigger bursts of star formation, fling stars out into the intergalactic void, or even feed the monstrous black holes lurking at the galaxy's centers. The study of cosmic collisions gives us a glimpse into the very fabric of the universe, into the forces that shape galaxies and the destiny of all the stars within them. It's a field that combines the grandeur of the cosmos with the nitty-gritty of astrophysical processes, a testament to the power and beauty of the universe we inhabit. So buckle up as we journey through the cosmos to understand the aftermath of galactic collisions. It's going to be an awe-inspiring ride filled with wonder, discovery, and maybe a few surprises along the way. Imagine two massive galaxies hurtling towards each other at astronomical speeds. What do you think happens? The science behind cosmic collisions is a fascinating interplay of immense gravitational forces, massive bodies, and astronomical timescales. Picture this. Galaxies, each filled with billions of stars, are not static. They are constantly moving, rotating, and interacting with each other, mainly due to the pull of gravity. Gravitational forces are the key players in this grand cosmic dance. These forces, determined by the mass and distance of the interacting galaxies, dictate the motion and eventual collision of these celestial bodies. The larger the mass, the stronger the gravitational pull, and the more likely for collisions to occur. Now, when we talk about cosmic collisions, we're not referring to a quick smash and grab. These are events that unfold over millions, even billions of years. It's a slow, graceful, albeit violent dance choreographed by the forces of gravity. As galaxies draw closer, they begin to interact more intensely. The gravitational pull between them starts to distort their shapes, leading to the formation of long tidal tails, bridges of stars and gas that stretch out into space. It's a process that's every bit as dramatic as it sounds, with galaxies often completely changing their structure and appearance. Believe it or not, cosmic collisions are more common than you might think. Our universe is filled with galaxies, and over the vast expanses of time, these galaxies often cross paths, in fact, our own Milky Way galaxy is on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy, set to collide in about 4 billion years. But don't fret. These collisions are not just destructive events, they are also creators. When galaxies collide, they trigger the formation of new stars, often leading to starburst galaxies that shine with the light of millions of newborn stars. These collisions are not just destructive events, but rather, they pave the way for new celestial formations. So. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember the stars you see today are the products of cosmic collisions from billions of years ago. So, how does a cosmic collision actually happen? Well, it's a fascinating process that unfolds over billions of years. Let's break it down. Firstly, the initial approach. Two galaxies drawn together by the irresistible force of gravity start to drift towards each other. This isn't a quick process, mind you. It's a slow, inexorable dance that takes place over millions, if not billions, of years. The galaxies inch closer and closer, their gravitational pulls tugging at each other, distorting their shapes and pulling at their outer edges. Now let's talk about the collision itself. As the galaxies draw nearer, the vast expanses of space between their stars begin to overlap. But here's the thing. Galaxies are mostly empty space. 
The likelihood of two stars actually smashing into each other is infinitesimally small. Instead, what happens is a sort of gravitational ballet. The stars from each galaxy whiz past each other, their paths altered by the other's gravity. They might be flung out into space or they might be drawn into a new orbit around the combined center of the two galaxies. So what about the gas and dust in these galaxies? As the galaxies merge, clouds of gas and dust are compressed, creating bursts of star formation. These starburst events light up the merging galaxies, creating brilliant, beautiful displays that can be seen across the universe. Now, on to the aftermath. After the galaxies have fully merged, the result is a single, larger galaxy. This new galaxy might look very different from its progenitors. It might be more spherical, or it might be a flat spiral, depending on the characteristics of the colliding galaxies and the nature of their interaction. But the story doesn't end there. The newly formed galaxy is a hotbed of activity. The burst of star formation caused by the merger can continue for hundreds of millions of years after the collision. Massive stars burn brightly and die in spectacular supernovae, while others settle into new orbits, creating a whole new celestial landscape. And what about the supermassive black holes at the center of each galaxy? As the galaxies merge, these black holes can be drawn together as well, spiraling towards each other until they eventually merge in a violent event that sends ripples through the fabric of space-time itself. In this grand cosmic dance, galaxies are reshaped and new celestial bodies are born. This is the process of cosmic collisions, a process that has been happening since the dawn of the universe and will continue to happen until the end of time. It's a testament to the dynamic, ever-changing nature of the cosmos, a reminder that even the most seemingly immutable celestial bodies are subject to change and transformation. In this grand cosmic dance, galaxies are reshaped and new celestial bodies are born. Did you know that our very own Milky Way is on a collision course? That's right, folks. In about four billion years, our galaxy is set to have a head-on crash with the neighboring Andromeda galaxy. This is not a Hollywood blockbuster plot, but a reality of cosmic proportions. But before you start packing your interstellar luggage, let me assure you this collision is not going to be the explosive spectacle you might imagine. In fact, since galaxies are mostly empty space, they'll pass right through each other with very few actual star collisions. However, the gravitational interactions will create a cosmic dance of stars, pulling and twisting them into new orbits. The result, a beautiful, albeit chaotic, cosmic fireworks display. Now let's take a step back and look at some of the most famous cosmic collisions that have already occurred. One such example is the Antennae galaxies. This pair of interacting galaxies found about 65 million light years away in the constellation Corvus is one of the closest and youngest examples of a pair of colliding galaxies. Named for their long antenna-like arms, the antennae galaxies are a testament to the power of gravity. When the two galaxies first brushed past each other some 200 to 300 million years ago, their shapes were forever changed. The gravitational forces at play stretched and distorted them, creating the long antenna-like arms we see today, hence the name, but that's not all. The collision also triggered a wave of star formation, lighting up the galaxies with the stellar equivalent of a neon sign. Another famous cosmic collision is the Bullet Cluster. This is a pair of galaxy clusters that collided about 150 million years ago. Unlike the antennae galaxies, where individual galaxies interacted, the bullet cluster involved the collision of two massive clusters of galaxies, each containing hundreds or even thousands of galaxies. The collision was so powerful that it ripped the hot gas away from the galaxies, creating a shockwave that we can still see today as a distinct arc, the so-called bullet. These cosmic collisions, while dramatic and violent on a scale we can hardly comprehend, are a fundamental part of the universe's evolution. They shape galaxies, trigger star formation, and mix up the cosmic soup of elements. So while the impending collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda might seem like a cosmic catastrophe, it's really just another step in the ongoing dance of the galaxies. So as we continue our journey through the cosmos, let's remember that while these events may seem catastrophic, they're actually key to the evolution of the universe. These events, while seemingly catastrophic, are key to the evolution of the universe. 
What happens to us, the inhabitants of a galaxy, when it collides with another? A question that might have crossed your mind, especially after the previous scenes. Now let's delve into the effects of these grand cosmic collisions. When two galaxies collide, it's not the kind of collision we're used to thinking about. It's not like two cars crashing into each other on a highway. Instead, it's more of a slow, graceful merger, a cosmic ballet that takes place over billions of years. The first thing to understand is that galaxies are mostly empty space. The chance of any two stars actually colliding is incredibly small. Instead, as galaxies approach each other, their mutual gravitational pull starts to distort their shape. This gravitational tango can trigger the formation of new stars as gas clouds in each galaxy get compressed and collapse under their own gravity. Such a starburst event can lead to the creation of millions of new stars lighting up the merging galaxies like a cosmic fireworks display. And where there are new stars, there's also the potential for new planets and maybe just maybe new life. But it's not all starry skies and new worlds. Galactic collisions can also lead to active galactic nuclei, where the supermassive black holes at the centers of each galaxy start to devour nearby gas and dust, shining brightly in X-ray light. In the end, the two galaxies will have reshaped each other, usually forming a larger elliptical galaxy. From the inside, this new galaxy might not look much different from our own. The stars will still shine, the planets will still orbit, and life as we know it will go on. So, while the idea of our Milky Way galaxy eventually colliding with the Andromeda galaxy might seem like a cause for alarm, remember, the universe is a vast place. Galaxies like dancers move together in a grand cosmic choreography, intertwining and evolving, but rarely crashing in a catastrophic way. While a galactic collision might sound alarming, the vastness of space ensures that it's more of a cosmic dance than a catastrophic event. In a universe constantly in motion, what can we expect from future cosmic collisions? Indeed, the cosmos is a bustling, ever-changing stage where the dance of galaxies, stars, and planets never ceases. As we peer into the future, one thing is certain, cosmic collisions will continue to shape the universe. They're not just random events, but crucial mechanisms of cosmic evolution. They stir the cosmic pot, giving birth to new stars, galaxies, and potentially life. Imagine our Milky Way peacefully spiraling in its corner of the cosmos. Yet even our home galaxy isn't immune to the grand dance. Astronomers predict that in about 4 billion years, the Milky Way and the neighboring Andromeda galaxy will collide, merging into a single larger galaxy. This grand cosmic waltz, while seemingly destructive, is a natural part of the universe's life cycle. Beyond our local group of galaxies, the universe continues to expand, driven by a mysterious force we call dark energy. This expansion influences the frequency and nature of cosmic collisions. As galaxies move farther apart, their chances of colliding decrease, leading to a future universe that's less crowded and more isolated. But what about the ultimate fate of our universe? Well, that's still up for debate. Some propose the Big Freeze, where the universe expands indefinitely, growing colder and darker until stars burn out and galaxies fade away. Others suggest the Big Crunch, where gravity eventually overcomes the expansion, causing the universe to collapse in a fiery cosmic collision of everything. In both scenarios, cosmic collisions play a vital role. They're the universe's way of recycling matter, energy, and even space itself. They're the architects of cosmic change, creators of new worlds, and perhaps the harbingers of the universe's end. As we gaze upon the stars, we're not just looking at the present, but also a glimpse into the future of cosmic collisions. So, next time you look up at the night sky, remember you're witnessing not just the beauty of the cosmos, but also its dynamism, its evolution, and its future. So, what have we learned about cosmic collisions today? Well, we've delved deep into the heart of the cosmos, uncovering the science behind these majestic events. We've learned that cosmic collisions are not just chaotic, destructive forces, but also creative ones, birthing new stars and reshaping galaxies. We've traveled through the process of cosmic collisions, from the initial gravitational tug to the final merger, a journey spanning billions of years. We've marveled at famous cosmic collisions that have shaped our understanding of the universe, and we've considered the profound effects these events can have, from triggering bursts of star formation to potentially sparking life itself. Looking to the future, we've pondered the fate of our own Milky Way galaxy. 
as it dances towards Andromeda. It's a grand cosmic ballet choreographed by the forces of gravity. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember each star could be part of a cosmic ballet that's been dancing for billions of years.